Hi, today we want to learn how to use the Casio ES991 calculator to solve quadratic equations. Let's start. Now let's assume that we are having this particular equation here, or this particular question here. It says solve the equation, and the equation is 3x squared plus 7x plus 2 being equal to 0. Now with this particular question, we want to use calculator to solve that. So let's consider our calculator. This is our calculator. And let's assume that this is the mode that we are having. So for you to use the calculator straightforward, you have to go to the mode. So we are going to press on the mode. All right. Some many will come. We are going to Press on number 5 because number 5 corresponds to E, Q, N. That is equation. So we are going to press on 5. Okay. After pressing on 5, we are going to get another menu. If you look at the number 3, we are having AX squared plus BX plus C being equal to 0. And that is the general quadratic equation or the standard quadratic equation. So we are going to select that. So we are going to press on 3. And we are going to have some um, options there or some menu there. We have A, B, and C. Now let's consider this. We know that the general quadratic um, equation is of the form AX squared plus BX plus C being equal to zero. Where we know that the A is the coefficient of X squared the b is the coefficient of x and the c is the constant term so from the equation that we are having there if you are going to compare this particular equation to the general equation that we are having here we are going to realize that indeed this coefficient of x squared which is the a is going to correspond to the 3 the coefficient of the x which is this b is going to correspond to the 7 and then the constant term is going to be the c in that case then we are going to have our a to be equal to positive 3 our b to be equal to positive 7 and our c to be equal to positive 2. now we come to the calculator you realize that the cursor that is a black um, rectangular cursor is beneath the a so the calculator is waiting for us to input our value for a Therefore, our A is 3, so we are going to press on number 3, and then we press equal to. Indeed, the cursor will shift to the B. And what is our value for B? 7. So we are going to press on 7, we press equal to, and lastly, we are going to have our C, and our C is what? 2. So we are going to press on 2, and then we press equal to. When we are done, it means that we are ready to um, solve the equation so the next thing we are going to do is to press equal to again so we press equal to and the calculator is going to give us one of the x values and one of the x value that is x1 is equal to negative 1 over 3 and then we press it again we are going to get x2 we are going to get x2 to be equal to negative 2 it means that when we solve this particular quadratic equation we are going to get the solutions to be equal to x to be equal to negative 1 over 3 and x to be equal to negative 2. Let's consider our second example. Let's say we are having this particular question. Again, we want to use the calculator to solve this. So what we are going to do, in fact, you have to make sure that the, uh, the terms are arranged in the standard form that the squared term comes first followed by the um, x term followed by the constant term so from what we are having here realize that we are having positive one on the other side of the equal to sign so what we are going to do is we are going to rearrange that and that is going to give us 3y squared minus 2y minus 1 being equal to 0 so with this, you are going to compare this to the general quadratic equation. Don't forget that in this case, the variable involved is y. So it's the same thing. 
the same thing. So you are going to compare this to the general quadratic equation. That is you having your a y squared plus b y plus c. And it does the same as the a x squared plus b x plus c. So being equal to zero, this one to be equal to zero. For this particular one, the variable involved is y. For this one, the variable involved is x. They are the same. So per the equation that we are having here, indeed the coefficient of the squared term is three. In that case, our a is three. Our coefficient of the y term, what we are having here, is indeed negative two, not positive two. So we are going to have our b to be equal to negative two, and our constant term, which is the c, is going to be the negative one. So we have our c to be equal to negative one. Okay. So we having the three main variables here. We go through the same procedure. The first thing you have to do is to press on your mode, press on the five. You go to option three. That is for quadratic equation. So we press three, and then we start inputting our values. What is our a? A is equal to three. So you are going to press three, and then we press equal to sign. What is our b? The value for b is negative 2. So we press negative 2 and replace equal to sign again. And then our last term, that is the constant term, and is c. And c is what? Negative 1. So we press negative 1 and then we press equal to sign. When we are done, we press equal to again. And boom, now we have our value for x. So we have x. 1 to be equal to positive 1. You press equal to again, and you're going to have x2 to be equal to negative 1 over 3, which implies that we are going to get our value for y because per the question, the main variable is y. So we are going to get our value for y to be equal to the 1 and y to be equal to the negative 1 over 3. So this is how you can use the calculator to solve quadratic equation. At times, you need this skill to solve some of your objective tests. Don't forget that at times objective test, it's all about speed and accuracy. So if you know how to use the calculator to solve some of these questions, yes, it's going to help you. All right, today we are going to end our tuition here. Thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.